Ai cu ya. Ya grema. So now, now we're going to work on, uh, we're going to rebuild this team, continue to build this team. Um, so what I really enjoyed about our progress from last season, um, we went from 3-13 and 13 to – nine and eight and making the wild card round of the playoffs. With that being said, we have a lot to improve on. We have a lot to focus on. And that starts by deciding whether or not we are going to re-sign certain players. Um, like Marquise Brown, he's asking for almost $70 million in, in the end. And I don't think we're giving him that because he hasn't shown us that he's earned that franchise tag. Like he makes, he makes some good plays every now and then. Some very talented plays, but I don't think he's a $70 million player. Um, Will Hernandez, that would depend on our depth at the guard position. So since he's our current starting guard, um, I'm thinking about re-signing this guy. All right. And our guard position is still there. So, Derek Natty, um, see, we got Sheldon Durant and Foe, too, so I'm not, huh. actually, I'll, I'll sign Lawrence. I'll let Natty go, because Lawrence is cheaper. But I feel like in this game, finding a defensive tackle is not very hard. Not very hard at all. So, um, so yeah. So left tackle here. Yeah, we have a couple of guys that can uh, that can play for us. So this guy, Josh Jones, isn't needed. Hmm. And honestly, I think we just draft another D tackle. Why not? You know, we get rid of these guys. Why not? We bring in another, draft another fresh um, rookie defensive tackle. I like what the rookies do on our defensive line. So let's get this going. All right. Um, left end. No, I'm not franchise tagging him. Jakeem Grant is a guy that I kind of want to keep as a returner. But he hasn't made any big plays at all. I know we're getting rid of Marquise Brown and Roby Anderson. No, not Roby Anderson, but Marquise Brown for sure. But um, let's just try to test free agency. You know, and who knows? He may end up as another... um. Another free agent in the end, so. All right, cool. And let's look at the 2023 retirements. Harrison Smith retires. Um, Adam Thielen also retires. Demario Davis, that's a big retirement. Devin McCourty, Bobby Wagner retires from the Rams, so that's going to hurt the Rams. Tom Brady retires in New England. Wow. Aaron Rodgers retires. Raheem Mostert retires. Russell Wilson retires. Tyrod Taylor. Jason Pierre-Paul. 
and Adamican Sue, Julio Jones, Mark Ingram, Cam Newton. So it seems like it seems like a lot of the names and people that I grew up watching um, ended up retiring in the end. So it's just going to be interesting. It's just going to be very interesting to see where everyone goes now because Russell Wilson retired, so the Broncos will need a quarterback. And Green Bay's quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, also retired. So they're also going to need a quarterback. So now we'll get the first look at the brand new free agents. Lamar Jackson is a free agent. Rashawn Gary. Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, T. Higgins, of course, Marquise Brown, Jerry Judy, Tua, Ed Oliver, that'd be nice. That, that would be nice. Bradbury. So let me look. While we in this thing, you know what I mean? Um... I'm not signing another QB. Sorry, guys. Sorry to burst your bubble with that one. But Rashawn Gary, a left outside linebacker. And you got to look at him. Who do we have? Earl Broughton. We can easily move Rashawn Gary to the right outside linebacker. That would not make a difference at all. So a guy like this, you have to offer him. You have to offer him. I don't care what anyone says. This guy right here, you got to offer him. Our offense, we're going. We're also going to need receivers. Um, he doesn't have very much interest. So let's let's come back to this. Oh, he does have interest. Okay. Okay. Peoples Jones. So yeah, I have a few options, but not many I receive right. look at the corners. Darius Slay is a free agent. Oh my god. Big Play Slay is a free agent, bro. And honestly, I think what hurt us the most was our defensive back position. So I think we offer him a two-year deal, and that's a strong offer. And we are the only team in the race right now that are currently trying to get big play slay. If we can pull this off, man, that'd be a huge addition to our secondary. Huge addition. And he's really the only corner that I'm really interested in. Yeah. Yeah, he's the only one I'm interested in. Um, as in free safety. We want another free safety. John Johnson. Hmm. I'm not really into him. I don't even know who that is. So... I may just have to end up drafting a free safety or something like that because so I know for sure I need to draft a defensive tackle so um, yeah 
Yeah. Um, no, I'm not, I don't like these free safeties. Strong safety, I'm pretty confident in who we drafted. Man, these are, these are some, some really good quarterbacks, man. God, Lamar has a lot of interest, too. Let's just see what he's asking for. Oh, yeah, we'd have no cap space after that. We would have no cap space after that at all. And besides, I think Kyler Murray has proved of him, himself, you know? Yeah, Jalen Hurts is also going to want a big contract. So I don't see that happening. Let's look at the running backs. Cam Akers, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. He has a lot of interest. Um, he, he could be very dynamic as well. And he doesn't want very much money. I think I may bring Clyde to Arizona. Who knows? Darrell Williams is my backup. Devin Singletary is a... Uh, He's definitely a little starter, and it's it's not even debatable. Um, I don't know if Clyde Edwards Hilaire is really a focus. So what I'll do, I'll keep Devin Singletary, but I'll draft a running back as well. That's what I may do. Um, I really like this receiver, Brandon Ayuk. Um, let's look at his player card. Speed 91, acceleration 93, 94 catching. Short route is 90, medium route 85. Deep routes 81. Hmm. And I remember he destroyed us when we played against him. But yeah, it's just like there's just nobody here that I'm like, oh my god, I have to grab, you know. Jerry Judy would be nice, but he has no interest. Marquise has a lot of interest, but he's just asking for too much. Like, let's see what he's asking for. That would leave me with 32 million in cap space. He would leave me with also 32 million in cap space. Let's see what Jerry leave me with 30. T would leave me with 29. Um, so yeah, these guys, I'm not really flipping the table over. Uh, Rashawn Gary is one of those guys that we got to just go all out on. And we make the offer to Rashawn Gary. Now we have twenty eight million to work with. So now we got Ed Oliver, an X-Factor player. Um, he's also somebody we should target. And I know we had the number one de defense last year, but I feel like why not continue to build what we have here? You know, we don't need to go absolutely nuts in free agency. As long as we get big plays to lay Ed Oliver and Rashawn Gary on our defense, I'm happy with that. So let's make this offer. So we've targeted Rashawn Gary, Darius Slay, and Ed Oliver. 
three solid options for our defense. So, hopefully. So, Rashawn, so we have the top offer for Ed Oliver um, and the top offer for Rashawn Gary. So, let's just simulate the next week and see who we end up getting. Oh my God, this is nerve wracking. All right. So we pick up Rashawn Gary for sure. Rashawn Gary is an Arizona Cardinal. All right. So these are all the available people. Looks like they all signed. My signings, Rashawn Gary and Ed Oliver. So I signed two interior people, Ed Oliver and Rashawn Gary. That's what I'm talking about. We continue to build that defense. Now we targeted big play slate. Now he doesn't have much interest here, but I'm thinking about offering him more because he's that good of a player. If we can get him, that would solve a lot of our issues. Um, what was my previous offer? Let's offer him a two-year deal. See if maybe that helps. But if we don't get him, we maybe have to consider drafting another uh, corner. Because I'm not necessarily interested in those guys. So I'd rather draft another another corner. Um, and besides, we need to save the little bit of money we have left. So, yeah, let's advance. And hopefully Darius Lay decides to come be an Arizona Cardinal. And it seems one of our players wants a fifth-year option, Zabin Collins. Um, yeah, he did play great. So let, let's pick up that option. Yeah, Zayvon Collins and um, Isaiah Simmons are the the middle of our defense. So, Justin Herbert is a Houston Texan. T. Higgins hasn't signed. Um, Jerry Judy went to the Titans. Darius Slay. Oh my God. Oh my God. We get Darius Slay, Rashawn Gary, and Ed Oliver in free agency. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. So these are my signings for free agency. I only pick up three guys Rashawn Gary, Darius Slay, and Ed Oliver, an X Factor, a superstar, and a star. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow. We went all out on free agency. Arizona is a team to beat for sure. And we're just going to save the remaining bit of our cap space. So we're going to need another center. Let's take a look at this free agency recap. Lamar Jackson went to the Seahawks. Rashawn Gary went to us. Jalen Hurts went to the Steelers. Justin Herbert. T. Higgins is a Chief. Judy is a Titan. Marquise is a Lion. Big play slate went to us. DJ Reader. He's a free agent. Tua went to the Commanders. Cam Makers went to the Saints. Gotta love it. Jonathan Jones, Chiefs. Bradbury Titans. Clowney Saints. 
Wow. So we gotta get used to seeing um, these things. Lamar is on the Seahawks. I can see that. Jalen Hurts to the Steelers. Herbert to the Houston Texans. Geno Smith to the Vikings. Garoppolo to the Saints. James Winston to the Chargers. Marcus Mariota to the Saints. So. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But I think by far we have the best free agency. Because we were able to pick up Rashawn Gary, Big Play Slate, and Ed Oliver. That is that is absolutely amazing. So I think with our first round pick, um, so it says we don't have a center. We're missing a left guard. And we have an F at left end. So, huh. Let's actually take a look at our roster and see what we have here. Because then that would, de would determine our draft. I know we need better receivers. So we're going to have to draft the receiver. Something I didn't want to have to do. It's just none of the receivers that they had really interest, interested me enough to just pour all my money into them. So what I'll do... My goodness. Our defense is absolutely amazing. Ed Oliver. See the automatically move brought into right outside linebacker. So that's perfect. That's that's good. Rashawn Gary's on the left. Um, I didn't even have to move him myself. Collins and Simmons is in the middle. We got our strong safety that we drafted. Two top notch corners. Um Greedy Williams. So yeah, now we're good. Marco Wilson's still there. Yeah, the uh, our, our free safety. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of him. He's he's made. He's given up a lot of plays that I'm. I'm just not happy about. So that's gonna have to change. So left end is a big need. Left end is a big need. Looks like. Yeah. So left end on defense, receiver on offense, that's for sure. Receiver, running back. And our line actually played really well. So I'm not concerned about our offensive line at all. Um, so yeah, let me take note of that. So for the draft, we're going to focus on Receiver, running back, left end, um, man, I feel like we need to start developing more, more guards. Guard, center. I'll deal with the free safety for now, but eventually he's out of here. Or I can just trade Thompson and draft someone else. So let's go free safety. And yeah, that's pretty good for now. So we got wide receiver, RB, left end, guard, center, free safety. Those are the positions to focus on. Alright. 
So let's look at the top boards right now. QBs, right outside linebacker, Quentin Peppers. I got a couple left ends they think is going in the first round. Let's look at the wide receivers. Okay, okay, okay. Juan Williams, deep threat out of USC. Um, Pat Curthers, David Starks. Um, Antoine Woodson out of LSU. Terrell Finley out of LSU. So, huh. It's going to be an interesting draft. Can trades be made right now? Looks like they can. Let's just see what we can get for this safety. Derek Stingley, come on. I honestly just want a late pick for him. I don't want anything other than a pick. Um, let's see what teams need a safety. Okay, who is this guy? He's normal development. The Jets severely need a safety. Let's first let's look at their team. Who's their quarterback? Zach Will. Oh my goodness. Oh, I do not want to trade him to that team. My God, and the Lions add another top-notch receiver. Raiders. So he's star development, so I won't trade him to Texans. So I think the Raiders are a good team. They have Derek Carr, quarterback. Devontae Adams, D. Hopkins. Oh, my God. So yeah, I think we could help out the Raiders, man. Let's see what draft picks the Raiders have. The Raiders or the Commanders. And getting rid of this player can also give us more cap space. So we have a first rounder, pick 20, second, third, fourth. So. All right. Let's look at the commanders first. So they do need a free safety. Let's look at the Raiders, see if they admit that they need a free safety as well. So the Raiders don't think they need a free safety. So we'll have to go to the commanders. I don't want to... I don't think he's worth... A first or a second round pick, but possibly a third. Let's see if they like that. So this would put the salary them over the salary cap. So I can't trade them to the commanders because they have no cap room. 
So we'll have to try the Raiders. The Raiders also have no cap room. Who's the coach for safety? Julian Black? No. See if they want him. Trade a third rounder. Yep. And we trade free safety. Jalen Thompson at 84 overall. To the Colts. So he's going to go in and be an immediate starter for the Colts. And now free safety is one of our needs. But that guy, he's, he's made some questionable plays that um, I just didn't like seeing from him. So, yeah, hopefully he does well somewhere else. All right. Now this is mock draft five. I'm not even going to. Let's just see if they got any of our needs going first. Left end, they do have a left end going. Another one. And they have us taking a cornerback. We just got big place left, and we have Byron Murphy. And the best corner last year in Greedy Williams. So I don't think so. So I'll keep an eye. Um, there's only one receiver going in the first round, supposedly. One receiver going, a few left hands, no free safeties. Um, yeah, no free safeties. And no running backs going in this first round. Apparently. Let's uh, look at our roster. Let's change his number. He is not number three. Sean Gary is definitely going to be a captain. Let's change his number. He ain't going to be no 26. See him being 58. Big play slay. All right, cool. So let's advance to the draft. So we got through free agency. We made a few. We made a trade. We brought in three stars on defense. So we further improved that number one defense. So now we start the NFL draft. Oh, we look one more time at the stories. So let's look at the top stories. Draft. So cornerback, medical concerns, left out Lila. Cornerback. Bryce Carmichael. So 
So Byron Hills was the Heisman Trophy winner. Let's take a look at this guy. Heisman, the Heisman has always had my eye. As you know, we have a Heisman Trophy winner in Kyler Murray. So Byron Hills out of Syracuse was the Heisman Trophy winner. So he's a power back. He's six foot two twenty. Four five, so he's slow. Very slow. But he somehow was the Heisman Trophy winner. Interesting. Let's look at Bryce Carmichael. I've seen something about him. Receiving back. Second. Okay, he's got good speed. I kind of want a power back. We have Devin Singletary. Let's look at this guy out of Texas Tech. 5'11", 230. Great strength, solid speed. Yeah, so he's better at the combine. Ball carrier, B. Stiff arm, trucking, B. Carrying, B. Um, spin move. So he's out of Texas Tech. So I'm going to look at Byron Hills and Donovan Tart. Move for more power backs. Out of Michigan State, Hugh Frost. Yeah, I'm not really into him. Yeah, so he has nothing special about him. So the only two backs we're going to end up getting are either Tart or Hills. Um... Carmichael was a good receiving back, but I don't want a receiving back. We need a power back that can come in and bang. Um, as for the receivers, let's see. Juan Williams. Deep threat, just what we need. Elite acceleration, 4-3 runner. Great agility. Decent vertical. So Juan Williams, spectacular catch. It's horrible on the short route, but really good on the deep route. And we'll need somebody like that to, that way all the pressure isn't on Robbie Anderson. So if we can get somebody with the A deep route, that would really help. So Juan Williams is definitely somebody we want to target out of USC. Um, Short route, spectacular catch, medium route. Pat Carruthers, 6'4". Oh, my goodness. So B short route, B to D deep route. Um, yeah. He's okay. 6'3 out of USC. He has elite jumping. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we may have found our guy. Oh, his deep route sucks. Come on. He's an athletic guy, but his route running deep sucks. And if we're going to draft the receiver in the first or second round, your route running has to be like crisp. Yeah, I'm looking for another deep threat. We have enough short guys.
But yeah, Juan Williams and Pat Kurt are the only two receivers I'm interested in. Let's look at free safeties. Free safety out of Georgia. B zone coverage, B hit power, B tackle. They say we're a fit. Oh my God. So this guy's very athletic. Ronald Davis, and he's 5'11". Um, he's not as athletic, but let's check his B-man coverage, A awareness, C tackle, C pursuit, B play recognition. Yeah, most of the time the free safety isn't on man coverage. So I'm not interested in him. I'm interested in Brandon and Ronald Davis. But anyway, we'll get deeper into that. Um, our most important needs are finding an extra receiver and Essentially. Oh, snap. Pause. And. Nice pick. So they chose a right outside linebacker. The Seahawks are on the clock. And they choose a right in. The Jets. With the next pick. The left Miami tackle. Dolphins are on the, clock. the Chicago Bears are on the The Dolphins the select the quarterback. Yep, so the Dolphins decide to try to rebuild. The Denver Broncos are on the clock. The Minnesota Vikings are now on the clock. On the clock now, the New Orleans Saints. The Tennessee Titans are Saints get a D-tack. The Los Angeles Rams are up. They're on the Our division rivals, the Los Angeles Rams. Quinn Peppers. No. Quentin Peppers goes to the Rams. Oh, my God. He is a guy that I was absolutely interested in, but I knew I didn't have a chance. I know I didn't have a chance to even get this guy. So I didn't even entertain the idea. The New England Patriots are now on the clock. It's the Carolina Panthers now on the clock. I'm just hoping none of our receivers can go off the board. Because we need a receiver. The Washington Commanders are now on the clock. Now on the clock, the San Francisco 49ers. Other division rivals. They get a D tackle. Let's see what Jalen Hurts wants. And in. Bills on the clock. And now on the clock. It's the Arizona Cardinals. We are on the clock. We are on the clock, my people. Middle linebacker don't need a corner, left hand no. Bryce Carmichael is apparently the seventh ranked player on the board. Um, we have Devin Singletary. We don't need a receiving back. They have some top-notch guards up here. I'm I'm happy with what our lineman did. Juan Williams is still up there. He is our guy. Juan Williams is our guy. Got to go with him out of USC. And he's normal development? Now on 
on the clock. We drafted a Juan Williams. Normal development. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. The Arizona Cardinals are now on the clock. No! Buffalo took Ronald Davis. All right. So I got a receiver who ended up being a normal development player. We're going to have to draft another one just to be safe. But we need a, a running back and a free safety. The running backs still available are Byron Hills. And that's who I was interested in, and Donovan Hart. So let's look at the free safeties as well. Yeah, and none of those guys I was interested in. But for the running back, I think we can go a little later in the draft. We need a, a free safety that can come in and make some plays. Continue. We need somebody that can come in and start. So let's look at Xavier Davison. See hit power. Not really a big hitting guy. Yeah, his play recognition is an F. So let's look at what we can choose from from the best players they have. Real Finley. Man, we took a swing and we missed. Had a development trade. Now that's saying that's not saying this guy can't be good. That's just saying we took a swing and we missed, man. Now, I need a free safety that I can play some, some coverage. That's what I'm looking for, coverage. Antoine Davis out of Utah. Zone coverage is C. Oh, he he's the fastest. He's the most athletic um, free safety out of all of them. So A awareness, C zone cover, C play recognition, C tackle, B hit power. Let's get him. And he has hidden development. Antoine Davis, hidden development. Our new starting free safety. So we swing and we get lucky on our free safety. Now our next pick will definitely be a running back. The Cardinals on the clock now. Let's hope that the top running backs are still there that I wanted. Still got Tart. Let's take another look at him. I like what I'm saying. I don't know about y'all, man. He's not very fast, but he can jump. He's the fourth strongest running back. And he can hurdle. His strength is great. Jumping elite. And he's out of Texas Tech. So let's also look at Earl Weston. He's out of Southern Utah. And he's projected to be a day three. Yeah, and he's not very impressive. We're in the third round. I think it's good that we draft Donovan Tart to kind of share and split the carries. And he's also normal development. But that's fine. We can develop him. And we're back on the clock. So we don't waste any time here. So we got our running back, we got our free safety, and we got our receiver. All 
Um, they're still showing Will Perkins and Emmett Terrell. Will Perkins went up 17. I think I think it's important that we look at him. Spectacular catch is a B. Medium route's a B. Deep route is a D. Oh my god, I don't like that. I don't like that. Fulton. Fulton's still here. D catching traffic. Um, good broad jump. He can jump. Um, let's look at his deep route. A spectacular catch. Deep route's a C to an F. Yeah, I'm not exactly jumping for joy by any of these players. Let's look at our left end. We need a left end. Great acceleration, good agility, great change of direction, good speed, decent strength. C awareness, C block shedding, C power moves, B tackle, B finesse moves. This is our pick right here. Another normal development player. In Colbert. And now on the clock, it's the Arizona Cardinals. Now. DeAndre Moles. Yeah, this guy's. No. So let's look at the receivers, man. Oh my God, he's super slow. Oh, a deep breath. Yeah, he has trouble catching the ball. Yeah, I didn't really like this receiver class. I know we also needed a center and a guard of some sort. Let's look at the tight ends. Actually, we have a tight end, McBride. Man, this is a tough draft. Whenever you're not getting what you want, it's tough. But honestly, we didn't need much in this draft to begin with. But a part of me is like, man, we are so bad at receiver right now. We need to swing. Like, 
We need another deep threat. We're just gonna have to make do with what we have at receiver. So he struggles on the pass block. This is tough. Hmm. This looks like he could be one of the better options. But we may have to move him to left end. A 6 2 speed rusher. DeAndre Molds, why was he such a. He's physical. 4 4 runner. Yeah, he's just not a good route runner. I am not high on any of these players right now. So I just have to go with Kevin McKinley, Kevin Kenley and move him to left end. On the clock now, the Detroit Lions. The Arizona Cardinals are now on the clock. What happened to this guy? He was a projected. Oh, I see what happened. Six five. He's the best jumper. The strongest. So he is he's interesting. A A spectacular catch, B catching, B release, C catching traffic. We can work on that deep route. Short route B to D, medium route B okay, yeah. We can work with that. He's six five. We can work with him. Alright, and that's all we need to see. Advance to the end of the draft. All right, let's look at our draft recap. Hmm. And although he's a normal development player, Juan Williams is 75 overall. That's impressive. 
Antoine Davis, The Free Safety, 74, Hidden Development. Donovan Tart, 71 overall. Um, and he's a power back, so I was really interested in him. Um, so, yeah, let, let's look deeper into these players. So, Juan Williams, 75 overall, will immediately come in and be a second or third option? Third option for us. So, yeah. Let's edit now. I'll edit all this on my own. I'm not going to waste you guys' time with that. Um, this card changes. Um, Antoine Davis, hidden development guy. Super stoked, super excited. He's going to be our starting free safety. Donovan Tart, he's going to be our backup power back. So we're definitely going to be running up the middle with him. He's going to be in our power packages. So expect to see Mr. Tart in there running the ball. Colbert, um, he was kind of a swing, but I know we needed a left end, so he's a 67. Um, Antonio Wallace is another receiver I decided to pick up. Another swing. Um, Kenny was kind of like just a, yeah, I don't know why I drafted him. And we got a corner, so pretty excited. I like what we got at the receiver position. Antoine Davis at free safety, hard at running back. So we got a few things, man. We got a few things. Oh, let's look at uh, everyone else's draft recap. So the Buccaneers ended up getting a 74 strong, 75 wide receiver. So the top rated overall player. So 78, and that's Zay Clemens so far. Somebody might have drafted a 65 overall player. So, the, yeah, they swung, they swung and missed on that QB. So, Dolphins get a decent QB. All right. That was a pretty, I feel a lot better looking at the ratings of my players. So let's advance to the preseason and see some of these guys, you know, and see, actually see some of these rookies. Um, let's go adjust the lineup. Tyler's back. Devin Singletary. Darrell Williams is still here. But Tart is going to play more than Darrell. Just because I'm trying to develop Tart. Um, Juan Williams is here. He's going to play over Jamarcus uh, Bradley. So, defense is good. Yep, Davis is at free safety. Bam. So, we set. We set, baby. We, I just wish we had better receivers coming into this year. Because our offense has struggled a lot. But we'll be all right. Let's look at the free agent receivers. Robert Woods. He's, he's really good. Quez Watkins. Deontay Hardy, Kendrick Bourne, Callaway. I think looking for a deep threat. 79, James Washington. 78, Quez Watkins is a deep. Robert Woods. Yeah. I think we need to jump on Robert Woods while we still have the chance. Robert Woods is... He's a really good player, so we definitely need to bring him in. So 
and brought in Robert Woods. All right. So, Rashawn Gary, Robert Woods, um, Darius Slay, Ed Oliver. Um, and we drafted some great rookies that'll come in and make some noise. Earl Broughton looks to also make noise in his second his second season coming up. Um, and this franchise is third season, so super excited. Look, look forward to it, man. Glad we were able to pull in some big names. I wish we were able to we were able to draft better, but we got what we got, all right? But we'll see y'all next week. We'll give y'all a look at those um, new people in our team in preseason. All right, peace.